Tonight, a week ago Friday night, in New York City at the Garden, we decided to forsake that particular feature, though time should permit, you'll still get to see it, should it be a short main event, but right now, show you some of the action in the Duran Palomino fight. Duran, whose very fierceness and near savagery, you'll see for yourselves. The bell for round one scheduled 10 rounder Roberto Duran is back toward you against Carlos Palomino. Once the welterweight champion, immediately Roberto Duran took command using that left and right, punching sharply the way he can. Though it must be said that in recent bouts he has not been able to put away the opponent. Witness Jimmy Hare some six weeks ago in Las Vegas. Right there, Duran, with a tremendous right uppercut and follow-up left hook. Palomino had been trying to work the inside against Duran, and Duran proved too much for Palomino. Look at it in replay, an augury of things to come throughout the evening. There was the right uppercut, the left hook. Palomino withstanding the punishment. In round two, Palomino followed the same procedure, tried to work to the inside, tried to outmuscle Duran, and it proved again to be a mistake. Duran beat him at his own games. Note the way Duran fights, knowing how to use the shoulders and the head. Pummeling away at Palomino and hitting him with those uppercuts. McCanny, Arthur McCanny, the referee, breaking the two of them up. They went along to round five, and by now, Duran was totally in command of the fight. Would it sometimes revert to wildness? So sure was he of the victory, even that early, and so eager was he for the knockout. Duran, always a difficult target himself to hit. Round six, he continued to clean up on Carlos Palomino. Right there, the left first and then the right in combination. Flash knockdown, mandatory eight count of course. This fight's being scored on a 10-point must system. Voting the referee, Arthur McKinney, and the two judges. And Duran scoring a shutout, or nearly so, up to that point in the fight. Palomino, no part of the fighter once he was. He looked finished in point of fact on January 14th in San Juan when Benitez took the crown from him. Ran with a tremendous ability to level punches. He can punch upward with the uppercut, downward, in all directions. He is a fierce warrior. He has become the darling of the New York boxing writers. At 29, it remains to be seen if he can go on to win the welterweight crown. But in this round, it was all Roberto Duran and nothing of Carlos Palomino but the courage to stay on his feet. Completely one-sided fight. Palomino offering little by way of attack from the very outset of the bout. Again, much in the manner of the fight he had against Benitez. Palomino, always a notoriously slow starter, but he always had the ability to come on in the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth rounds. No sign of it in this bout, the way it was a week ago Friday night. New York's Madison Square Garden. Rand setting himself up for a future welterweight championship crown. The added weight that Duran has taken on apparently has not dimmed his ability to move and to throw punches. See the way he used that right up a cut and then followed it with the left? That's a throwback to that first round when he had that spectacular one-two. The right uppercut and the left. Past tense, past action. A week ago, Friday night at the Garden. One day, they'll 
be a showdown. There will have to be between Roberto Duran and the ever-growingly popular Sugar Ray Leonard. But first, Leonard has business with Benitez as that round ended. Now, here's the replay of the knockdown. The left and the right flash knockdown. Duran in total command of the fight. What are you doing, Fred? Continued much of the same. A totally one-sided fight. But in round eight, there was one of Duran's classic rights. And we wanted you to see it in slow motion. There it was. He put as much as he had into it. But Palomino did not go down. And that's the thing I caution you about Duran. At 29, he does not seem to have the knockout power he once had. In the ninth round, it was the same grueling pace. Grueling for Palomino, who was essentially a fenceless, who's the right lead, got in twice, the second time followed by the left in combination. And so, Duran poured it on Cal Carlos Palomino, who will undoubtedly now have to take a look at a film career, which has long been lurking for him anyway. He is a fine young man, beautifully spoken, college graduate, has played in films, has raw talent in that area. Better to use it there than to take this kind of thing. Duran never let up throughout the 10 rounds, which was the most impressive thing about it. Saw that right lead again. The uppercut got in there. Snapped Palomino's head back. And so the ninth round was just a repeat of what all of the prior rounds had been with the possible exception of one. Where one round was given to Palomino. This... Again, the ninth round a week ago, Friday night. Instant replay in effect. Duran all over Palomino. Too strong, too active, too much of everything. And in this, the tenth round, Arthur McCanny always in position. McCanny as good a referee as there is in the boxing business. the fighters fight their fight mauling and brawling on the inside but it was the same in the final round this the tenth round as it was in the first too much Roberto Duran for a fading fighter Carlos Palomino who was once the welterweight champion The fight brought down to its end. There was no question about the decision. Palomino's face showed it. Duran's face showed the elation one would expect. Raised aloft to yell to his admirers. The officials 